Wow, my first tattoo was uh, quite the thing. It was an eagle on a girl's butt. And uh, I was already nervous. First tattoo, first permanent thing on somebody. And uh, it was my friend's wife. And uh, so we, we, we didn't have the stencils we had today. It was, uh, it was a big pen with underarm deodorant, and you just stick it on. It's very light, very, very fragile. I mean, you don't, you could put your finger over it, and you lose your, your, your drawing. So here I am, I'm drawing, drawing, and halfway through the tap, bang, it's gone. So I'm freaking out, I'm panicking, I got lakes down in here, but a good thing I know how to draw, because I had it right here, and I'm going at it, going at it. Anyway, it turned out perfect, but learning experience. Don't ever wipe your stencil. Anyway, and I still don't today. So, yeah, that was the first tattoo. The first gun I ever had was a homemade tattoo gun. A uh, Walkman motor with a, uh, a button with an offset hole with a guitar string going through a big pen, <laughs> sharpened, with, uh, like, uh, drawing ink from, you know, China ink, they used to call it. And, uh, yeah, I uh, started with that as a friend who didn't really like doing it and uh, found out how to make this machine and he gave it to me and that's how it all started never thought i'd be tattooing doing this for a life for for a living sorry uh, never thought i'd be doing this for a living at all uh, it's crazy where it's gotten me because uh, the only tattoo i couldn't do was uh it was a biker patch guy had a biker patch on his back and uh the guy is he must have, been, must have been seven foot, six foot seven or something. His, his, his shoulders were this big. Kind of guy you just don't want to owe money to, you know. And uh, nice guy, though. And he asked me, can you take it off? Can you do something with it to, to hide it, uh, cover it? And uh, it was just too big, too black. And uh, just I couldn't see anything else to do but put black boxes, which... Yeah, don't want to make you know want to keep him happy there, so I just uh, didn't call him back. <laughs> <laughs> An interesting tat I had once was uh, the guy wanted his uh, his uh, house plans on on, a, on his shoulder, which let's just say straight lines going over a curved body is quite a challenge. But yeah, we did it. It looked good. It looked good. Surprisingly, I surprised myself sometimes, and yeah, it worked out, so that was interesting. Strangest tattoo. <sighs> craft dinner box. Guy asked me for a craft dinner box, 3D with the directions. Yeah, I did it. Didn't argue him. He wanted it. He got it. <laughs> so yeah, it was, this is kind of strange. I mean, hey, he likes it, likes it, you know, whatever. <laughs> uh, I refused to do uh, swastikas out of a uh, good memory of my, uh, my beloved grandfather. He was out there four and a half years fighting against uh, that. And so, yeah, I won't, I won't do that. I won't spit on his name or any other veteran out there. And um, pot leaves. I don't, uh, I mean, especially young kids, don't get that. This is a dumb tattoo, guys. Also, uh, hey, if I can uh, show off a bit what I do, uh, inspire people, uh, well, I think if uh, if more tattoo artists, especially well, new new tattoo artists can uh, can maybe learn a little bit from this uh, and make a world world a brighter place and better tattoos, you know. That's... <laughs>